Hello friends, today I'm going to solve with good problem number 907, sum of subarray minimums. So here in this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to find the sum of minimum of each of the subarray and the subarray should be contiguous. So uh, at the end, we also need to perform the modulo operation so that the result is not a very large number. So now let's see how we could solve this problem. Here we have been given an array and what we need to do is we need to find the minimum of each of the sub arrays. So like what could be the sub array for this array? Basically these are the sub arrays for this array. So three is a sub array on itself one is a sub array on itself two is a sub array on itself four is a sub array on itself three one is a sub array on itself 1, 2 is a subarray, 2, 4, and then so on. So basically, what we are doing here is um, if you look carefully, subarray for the subarray, we start from 3. Uh, if you look, if you rearrange these whole subarrays, you could see that we start from 3, and then for 3. Uh, the next sub array with 3 is 1 continuously and then the next sub array is 3 1 2 and then 3 1 4 all of these elements and the next time we start from index i equals to 1 and that sub array at that point of time is just 1 and the next iteration sub array is 1 2 and in the next one it is 1 2 4 so basically what we are doing here is let me just show you quickly over here so our array is one two okay our array is three one two four and the sub array is three and then two three one and then for three again one and two and then three one two four right next again the sub array will start from index equals to one and then one two and then one two four and so on right so on which means that, okay let me just write it down it's, it won't take so long time it's just two and then two four right and at the end we start from the last index and the last one so these are our sub array and we need to find minimum of each of the sub array and add it uh, add them and then return the result right so the minimum here is three minimum here is one so basically what we are doing is for each of these array we are calculating the minimum of that array right um uh, we are calculating minimum of this array minimum of this one minimum of this array so basically the problem uh, comes down to finding the minimum of each of these array so how could we actually do that um um well basically we know to find the minimum of an array we start from the first index and then we take that as a minimum and then the next index if the value is less than the minimum then our minimum becomes this value and then so on right so that is how we find the minimum of an array and then now uh, the first pro uh, first step is to find our sub array so basically we do not need to actually create the sub array at all because all we need is the minimum value so far so if you look <coughs> so far our first uh, sub array will only have this first element so our minimum value so far is only this value and then next it next uh, iteration our sub array is these two values so so we already have found the minimum uh, until this point right and now the next element we are just comparing an element with our previous minimum so our previous minimum was three now i am comparing that minimum with my next element in that um, array and then the minimum becomes equals to one right now i know the minimum is equals to one for this sub array so my next sub array is this one so minimum of these this sub array and this sub array so which is the minimum one 
basically i the minimum here is one and two comparing one and two i get equals to one so that is the minimum of this one so basically the idea here is that the minimum of previous uh, a sub array you just need that and then you compare it with the next uh, element in the array and then that becomes our current minimum and then we keep on doing until we reach the end and then we start from the next uh, index so on so uh, that's very simple concept now let me just code this whole problem so that it becomes much easier for you to understand it so let n equals to land now what we need is we need a for loop because we are gonna start from zero to index and for zero to index i'm gonna loop over each of the well uh, uh, until the end and then from that i'm going to start from one uh, to find the minimum of that sub array and then two for this one and then at the end the last one right so i let i equals to zero i is less than and i plus plus and then what we need is for each sub array we need a minimum right so um each time i'm starting like each time I'm starting from a new index um, my minimum is refreshed so when I start from here I do not know what the minimum is so at the, in that case my minimum is equals to the value itself and then when I'm starting from here this is my sub array and then basically I'm uh, this becomes my sub array right so I need to identify the minimum so at that point also minimum is my value at that index and then i compare it with the next one so what i do here is minimum equals to array i at that index and then let uh we we need a result right let result we need to store our value in the res in a variable result and then while what are we going to do is uh, we just check so this was my previous minimum so I just check my previous minimum with the current value is it less or greater while so what I need is I also need another value index j because I'm performing uh, um, n by i operator so for this I'm again like incrementing this and then this and then so on and then next so j is less than n okay and then if um minimum is greater than the index current value j then minimum equals to the value at j and j plus plus so I'm just comparing the minimum so far with the next element here. And yeah, j, the value of j starts from i plus 1. Basically, we do not need to compare the same, the value with itself, right? In the beginning, the minimum itself is 3. So now I compare 3 with 1. The so minimum is 1. So now the minimum of this sub array, which is 1, I compare it with 2 and uh, minimum is equals to one so now minimum of this whole sub array is equals to one so that is what i am doing here every time and then uh we also need to add our result to the mean minimum to the result and then finally return our result now let's run our Okay, so what um, here basically my minimum is uh, basically what I need to do is I also need to add my minimum here to my result and here I need to perform the modulo operator. Now let's run our code. Great, let's submit the code. Talking about the time complexity, the time complexity of this whole operation is O of n squared. 
because we are uh, for uh, we are uh, doing n times n operation here so I'm doing an n operation here and an n operation here so it's n squared and the space complexity is o is constant space complexity